Hello everyone, welcome to Skartech GK quiz number 152. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is a correct definition of cyclotron? The correct answer is accelerator of charged atomic particles. A cyclotron is a type of particle accelerator invented by Ernesto Lawrence in 1929-30 at the University of California, Berkeley and patented in 1932. It accelerates charged particles outwards from the center along a spiral path. Which among the following are called thrombocytes? The correct answer is platelets. Thrombocytes are pieces of very large cells in the bone marrow called megakarocytes. They help form blood clots to slow or stop bleeding and to help wounds heal. Having too many or too few thrombocytes or having platelets that don't work as they should can cause problems. Adsorption is used commonly in which of the following processes? The correct answer is chromatography. Adsorption is the addition of atoms, ions or molecules from a gas, liquid or dissolved solid to a surface. This process creates a film of adsorbent on the surface of the adsorbent. This process differs from absorption in which a fluid is dissolved by or permeates a liquid or solid respectively. Which among the following is involved in movement of muscle? The correct answer is myosin. So muscle contraction is a result of an interaction between the actin and myosin filaments that generate their movement relative to one another. The molecular basis for this interaction is the binding of myosin to actin filaments, allowing myosin to function as a motor that drives filament sliding. In which among the following processes myoglobin is used? The correct answer is storing oxygen in muscle till needed for energy production. Myoglobin is an iron and oxygen binding protein found in muscle tissues of vertebrates in general and in almost all mammals. It is distantly related to hemoglobin, which is an iron-oxygen binding protein in blood, specifically in red blood cells. Which among the following has a fibrous root? The correct answer is grass. A fibrous root system is something that does not penetrate deeply into the soil, but rather creates a thick network of roots that are good at holding the soil together. Many types of grasses have fibrous roots, including plants related to grass, such as corn. The helium atoms that have lost two electrons are called alpha rays. Alpha rays are actually high speed particles. Early researchers tended to refer to any form of energetic radiation as rays, and the term is still used. An alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons, all held together by the same strong nuclear force that binds the nucleus of any atom. The edible part of ginger is actually a modified stem. So ginger is a rhizome which is a modified stem that grows horizontally underground and has nodes and internodes. Vertical shoots may rise from the buds of the rhizome of plants such as ginger and ferns. Islet of Langhans is related to which of the following? Correct answer is insulin. The pancreatic islet or islets of Langhans are the regions of the pancreas that contain its endocrine or hormone producing cells. It was discovered in 1869 by German pathological anatomist Paul Langerhans and is named after him. The pancreatic islets constitute 1 to 2 percent of the pancreas volume and receive 10 to 15 percent of its blood flow. Which among the following instruments is used for measuring altitudes and angles in navigation and astronomy? The correct answer is quadrant. A quadrant is an instrument that is used to measure angles up to 90 degrees. If you see the picture, that is a maximum angle of 90 degrees. Different versions of the instrument could be used to calculate various readings, such as longitude, latitude and time of day. It was originally proposed by Ptolemy as a better kind of astrolabe. Several different variations of the instrument were later produced by medieval Muslim astronomers. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.